Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for keeping my marriage a secret from my ex? My wife and I were near Seattle last weekend, visiting my family. We're both in our early 30s and have been happily married for four years together for six. It was a relaxing trip, and we decided to spend Saturday evening catching up with old friends at a bar in my hometown. After settling in and getting comfortable, I decided to head to the restroom. As I was making my way through the crowd, I felt a tap on my shoulder. To my astonishment, it was Jen, my ex. Jen and I had been in a relationship for four years during our early 20s. We ended things because she wanted to explore more of life, feeling as though she missed out since I was her first serious boyfriend. At the time, I was very happy with her, and I had a promising job in tech that was setting us up for a secure future. I was even a few months away from proposing. Her departure was a heavy blow, and it took me a considerable amount of time before I felt ready to date again. Although we remained friends for a year after the breakup, I eventually decided to cut off contact to help myself move on, and we haven't spoken since. My wife is aware of this entire backstory. When Jen tapped me on the shoulder, I was genuinely surprised. We hugged and exchanged pleasantries. Jen was with a group of friends, many of whom I knew from years back. They all came over to say hello as well. We spent a few minutes catching up, mostly discussing what I had been up to since returning to my hometown and sharing updates about our lives. I started to feel that the conversation needed to end, so I abruptly mentioned that it was nice to see her again, but that I needed to return to my friends at the table. Jen agreed, and I quickly turned around. To my surprise, I found my wife standing right behind me. My friends had identified Jen from our table, and my wife had come over to join me I told my wife it was quite the coincidence and took her hand as we headed back to our table. Once we were seated, my friends immediately began discussing Jen. My wife appeared visibly uncomfortable with the situation. Despite my attempts to change the subject, I learned that Jen had married someone a few years ago, but they had divorced last year. She had moved back to her hometown to stay with her parents while she figured out her next steps. My wife seemed very interested in Jen's life and asked a lot of questions, which made me uncomfortable as I was trying to avoid dwelling on the topic. On the drive home, my wife asked why I hadn't mentioned that I was married and introduced her to Jen. She felt that I should have made it clear that I was happily married. I explained that I was simply trying to end the conversation quickly because I had gone no contact with Jen long ago and preferred to keep it that way. My wife then asked how I felt seeing Jen again after so long. I told her I was surprised by the encounter, but honestly Jen felt like a stranger now. I admitted that I felt a bit sad about how things had turned out for her. My wife was upset because she felt I should have introduced her to Jen. She was also bothered by the length of Jen's hug and thought I should have clearly stated that I was married and had a wonderful wife. She felt slighted that I didn't include her in the conversation especially since she had come over to stand next to me. From my perspective, I was just trying to wrap up the conversation and didn't see how introducing my wife would have helped. The situation escalated the next morning when Jen sent me a friend request on Instagram and also messaged me, saying it was nice to meet me. This seemed to trigger my wife, and my mom, who had always disliked Jen, went on a rant about her. My wife took comfort in this, since she had never liked Jen from the start. My wife believes that my failure to make it clear to Jen that I was married led to Jen's follow-up message. I declined the Instagram request and did not respond to her message. However, a part of me feels that my wife might be right and I might have made a mistake. Am I the offer not telling Jen I was married and introducing her to my wife, who was right next to me? I simply wanted to exit the conversation and was rushing to get back to my table. Top comment plastic concert. I don't understand how you could catch up with Jen without mentioning your wife, even indirectly. As a married person, it's natural to refer to your spouse. For example, you could have used we instead of I when talking about your life. Also, it seems more natural to say, I need to get back to my wife, rather than I need to get back to my friends. Your wife should be your priority. If you wanted to end the conversation, Mentioning your wife would have been a built-in excuse. 
I find your behavior somewhat odd. Is it possible that, even subconsciously, you didn't want Jen to know you were married? Update post. A few days ago, I posted about running into my ex, Jen, during a trip to my hometown. My wife saw me talking to her, and I, in a lapse of judgment, forgot to introduce Jen to her. This oversight upset my wife, who felt that I should have mentioned I was married. I appreciate everyone who commented and pointed out how poorly I handled the situation. We got back home yesterday. Even though my wife seemed to have moved past the incident, I felt it was important to apologize and clarify that I had no ill intentions. It was a deer-in-the-headlights moment for me, and I should have introduced her to Jen. That night, while my wife was scrolling through her phone in bed, I decided to bring up the issue. I apologized for the incident on Saturday, and acknowledged that I should have introduced her to Jen so she could see that I am happily married. I explained that I was caught off guard and just wanted to finish the conversation quickly. My wife responded that she understood I was flustered when talking to Jen. She mentioned that when Jen hugged me, everyone at the table started staring and one of my friends, Rita, made some scandalous remarks about Jen's interaction with me. My wife, who had never seen Jen before, took a moment to recognize her. She hoped I would introduce her to Jen so Jen would understand that she was my wife and not just a random woman. When I didn't, Jen noticed and gave my wife a dirty look. My wife hoped I would introduce her, but I hurried back to the table with her. I apologized again and admitted that, in hindsight, I should have handled it differently. I was simply trying to finish the conversation and wasn't thinking clearly. My wife asked why I seemed so strange around Jen. I wished I had a better explanation, but talking to Jen felt wrong, and my only thought was to return to my wife. She mentioned feeling insecure upon seeing how beautiful Jen was, and the comments from my friends didn't help. My wife was curious if I ever wished Jen hadn't broken up with me. I reassured her that if I had a time machine, I would wish 100 out of 100 times that Jen had left me, so I could meet my wife and build our beautiful life together. This made her smile and she gave me a big hug. I asked if I should message Jen to let her know I'm married. She said there was no need since my profile picture on messaging apps is with my wife, and Jen should have seen that. Additionally, my Instagram is public with many pictures of us. She advised me to ignore Jen's message and move on with our lives. Thanks again to everyone for your honest feedback, just as I expected from Reddit.